I'll do this poem um, just to kind of break some things down. It's called Mirror Mirror. Mirror Mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? I said, Mirror Mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Come on, Mary, you can't do this to me because Snow White doesn't exist anymore, remember? Because I killed her when I shut that book and tossed it in the fight along with her smooth skin, red lips and perfect features. I mean, I've done my best to be just like her. Can't you see? I've made my skin a little fairer. This wide nose I've reduced in size. These two pieces of rubber stuck together now look more like lips. Say, nip here and tuck there, bust a little bigger, but a little higher. I am not the epitome of all the fairy tale princesses put together. Snow White? <laughs> She bored compared to me, so my Prince Charm doesn't need to kiss me awake. Now, because my beauty is all I'm sleeping. And unlike Cinderella, midnight for me doesn't mean the reality of being ugly again. Because I, I am the beauty and not the beast. So I'm sorry, Jasmine, step back, but there's only one ethnic princess in town. So I'll ask you again. Who is the fairest of them all? Oh, so we've got that room. You're not going to talk, huh? I mean, can't you see how much changes I've made to look this good for you? I mean, my hair is Brazilian, my nails from China, my lashes from India, I'm a designer clothes from Italy and France, and me, well, look, I'm from Congo. I mean, that's why I can't be racist, because I'm at the United Nations all in one, wanting world peace like a beauty pageant queen. So, Mira, please, I'm begging you, tell me who is the fairest of them all? Damn it, Mira, why are you still not talking? Why is that in spite of all this change, I'm still a satisfied voice staring back at me? Afraid to expose my old nakedness before you. But when I'm outside, I feel like a piece of meat in KFC. With my breasts and flies all on display just to cover up my insecurity. But yet, yeah, every time I come to you for affirmation, all I get is silent and I just want to scream that I am beautiful. You see, a little truth in the line makes deception acceptable. So I became susceptible to pretense because I was told that everything ugly in this world was what defined my beauty until my life became full of contradiction and I was beautifully rotten. Like Shaka Zuli, I traded my gems to things that only sought to exploit it until my self-worth was split down the middle like an apartheid. And only when I came face to face with me, only when I accepted me for me was I able to be free from this thing called vanity. So you see, Mirror, it's no longer the curves on my hips that concerns me, but the one on my lips that makes me smile. Because I have been fearfully and wonderfully made to reflect his glory. That means that I shine bright like a diamond. One worth far more than all the minerals in, Af in Africa put together. I am a woman of substance. Been through the fire and come out refined like gold. You don't get any better than this, Mirror. You see, Mirror? Only when I accepted me for me was I able to be free from this thing called vanity. Because why? I got that. I got that Rosa Parks type of beauty. The type of beauty that isn't afraid to stand up or sit down for what she believes in. I've got that Marilyn Monroe type of beauty. The type of beauty that says, I like my clothes tight enough to show that I'm a lady, but blue stuff to show that I'm a woman. I've got that Harriet Tubman type of beauty. The type of beauty that says, my people's freedom is worth far more than the straps on my own back. So what I'm trying to say is, Mary, is that I'm not your one in a million type of lady. I'm a once in a lifetime type of woman. <laughs>